Happy Valentine's Day, baby. Happy Valentine's Day. Just kidding. Okay. I love that Valentine's Day dance. So we just are leaving out of the house for the, 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 the dog park. for the day to the dog park to just kind of have some family fun with our family. And Aria is in the kennel. She's been a naughty cat. She has been a naughty cat. She chewed two, uh, well, no, one iPhone cord and one headphone charger because I had this little he wireless headphone that basically plays music wirelessly. And she chewed it. She chewed it to where it doesn't charge anything anymore. And I just got that headset too. So I'm a little bit upset at her. And so she is in jail. That's oh, kitty jail. <laughs> what? Show them. We put up our new blinds. Oh, yeah, right? we put up our new blinds here. <laughs> and we come home, and like this thing is like pulled down because obviously she's a cat. And I was expecting her to be like batting at this, but she like full on like pulled this down. And then like these things right here they were like it. sideways yeah. and like all messed up. And it was just an awful, awful thing for a kitty cat to do. So, and we have toys around here for her so that she could play with instead of using our stuff. But, you know, she's just in kitty prison because she needs to serve some time. That's just how it works at the Resop household. You do the crime, you pay the time. Serve the time. You pay the time. Serve. All right, we'll go with that. We serve the time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, Coda is all excited. And Rachel, did you like your roses? You love, I love them? Love, love, love them. Love, 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 love They're them. They're beautiful. Aw. Well, not even as beautiful as you. No. No rose could be as beautiful as you. Mm -hmm. oh, nice. Sorry for the PDA. It's Valentine's Day, though. We figured it would be acceptable. Anyways, these are the roses that we had uh, basically put together for Rachel out of um, a total of three separate rose packages and some a rose a, like I guess this is called baby's breath or whatever put that together and then also yesterday uh, he was picking me up from work and he said he asked me if I wanted one of my Valentine's gifts early I was like sure why not you know I was figuring it was just chocolates or something like that mm -hmm. he gave me this box let me open the lid probably gonna get sparkles homemade chocolate strawberries some of them are missing and then we were talking about he slid in there like a few days ago hey have you seen the actual Beauty and the Beast play because Beauty and the Beast is my number one Disney movie been watching that thing since I was two years old really want to see the live the live version oh my gosh but anyway it said right here Taylor's oldest time save the date October 17th 2015 we're gonna go see it at the Majestic I'm so excited I cried. <laughs> Brushing my shoulders off. <laughs> I, I really cried. I, I'm so excited. I can't believe it. And he oh. said my mom can babysit, which is weird to think that she's going to need the and babysit And Rachel's got a baby time. bump growing now. Like, I just do. full on noticeable. Turn bit. sideways. Show it. Show the baby bump. A little bit. Look at this. Look. It's a little bit blue. It's, it's a little bit hard to see because of the shirt and everything. But... Um, oh, there it is, right there. I There's a be. tummy. <laughs> a little bit. It's a Rachel was a little sad today because she stopped fitting in some of her clothes. I'm so but, mad. <laughs> but it's I... all for, with good reason. It means that the baby's coming. We had our last uh, checkup that we did with the doctor there, and we found out that baby's heart is uh, 160. went from 170 before to 160. To 160. So I think that's normal. She said it was normal that the baby's heartbeat yeah, goes my, down lower. Yeah, my mom told me that. She warned me about that. But what do you guys think? Because I know some people say that the higher the baby's heartbeat, it's a girl. was it the girl? Yeah, apparently the higher the baby's heartbeat, it's a girl. The lower, it's a boy. But in my family, that doesn't really go because all of our heart rates are naturally high. My mom told me mine was like it's at because they have big hearts. <laughs> My mom told me mine was like at 180 Aww. starting off and then it went down to like 170. And she was so sure my brother Matthew was a girl because his was at 170. But he was a boy. <laughs> so 170? Mm -hmm. Did starting it go down out, lower? Uh, yeah, it so started at 170. So I think we might we be may have a boy. boy. Wow. That's my boy. 
I don't know, but I don't know because it's funny because people keep telling me, oh, you may have a dream, a weird dream telling you what you're having. I don't know if they're true. I don't really believe wives' tales. I'm not that kind of person. Yes, she does. She I just really... doesn't admit it on camera. She believes it, though. Curly hair, or wait, her, uh, hair heartburn. Okay, that's the only one uh -huh, I believe. Uh -huh. That's the only uh -huh. one. Okay, okay. Seriously, every person I've asked who's had a lot of heartburn during pregnancy, their baby came out with a pretty good amount of hair. <laughs> yeah. So, but, anyway. Well, let me brag a little bit about Rachel because we did me a little bit with the flowers and with the candy and everything. My love knows that I love, 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 love. Reese's candy and she got me a whole bag of Reese's peanut butter cups uh, Reese's peanut butter cup heart filled with tons of them and then she gave me the biggest kiss I think I've ever had Aww, but you interrupted my story oh I'm sorry well before I get back to that this is such a sweet cart we actually met I don't think everyone, anyone's ever known how we met besides her family and, and close relatives here. Oh, yeah, so that's right. It's, uh, we met on a dating website called Plenty of that Fish. That our friends made us sign up for. That our friends made us sign up for, yeah. Yes. And the that's where we kind of get the, the fish thing, the Plenty, Plenty of, of Fish. Plenty of Fish, So yeah, we, we both met each other on a dating website yes. called Plenty of Fish. And um, tell them the story. You had a ton of ton of guys like just okay, creepers just, just sending yes, you messages, right? Let me right? just tell you right now, this is how I know God is real because there is no way I would have met this wonderful guy on this website. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I ordered her <laughs> off were, the internet. They were pretty creepy. Uh, I had, I don't know, just I had some in their 50s hit on me and... Yeah, you got that. I, I felt very awkward so I stayed away from it for a while and... Um, this guy apparently sent me a message a week ago. Mm -hmm. week and I was before. waiting. The he whole was waiting time around for and I just... response. <laughs> the whole time waiting right. to see that little message then go from unread to read. I would check up on it and stuff and <laughs> and she wasn't reading it and it took a whole week and she I, finally uh, read my message. But anyway, I did and it was very simple, you know. He would he was like, "Hi, my name is Aaron. I don't cheat." Smiley face. "Oh, I'm plenty of fish." I, yes. Rewind. Sorry, you you know the about you section, yes. all that. Okay, well they have a, a what's it called? A little bio. A, a little, little bio about you section that you put but on there. Anyway, I keep in mind here. I didn't expect to meet my future husband on this thing. This thing is a joke to me. So I just put on there. Well, I want a guy who doesn't cheat because I had a couple boyfriends cheat on me. I'm like, I'm not taking this Losers. seriously. Losers. But <laughs> anyway. Anyway, so that's what he said. I, I, I'm a guy who doesn't cheat. How are you? Very, very simple very and simple. to the point. And I was like, oh, he seems nice, genuine. Okay. So we started texting for a while. and then No, not even a while, just a day. Just a day. Yeah, we texted for a whole day. And then it was really funny because I didn't have picture text by that time. So he was like, uh, I want to make sure you're not an 80-year-old man, so can we Skype? <laughs> Yes, I actually wanted to see her on a webcam before. I mean, now I knew that she wasn't like a 50-year-old man or something like that, but I still wanted to be sure that she actually was the person that I was talking to on the internet because I think some of us who actually have talked to other people on the internet before, you see one thing and then all of a sudden it's a completely different person that shows up in front of you. So I wanted to be sure. And I understood. She, I understood. I wasn't this mad. Was, this was Christmas Day that we actually uh, went and talked on webcam for the first time. We did. And yeah. We, it was Christmas night. We, yeah. we stayed on the webcam for the entire night. For hours. Yeah. Wait, no. Not four hours. The yeah, entire I night. Had I had to fell end asleep. it. No. Yeah. I had to end it because she left me. fell asleep. I fell asleep and she left me. It was so cute too. Oh my gosh, he was all, you are so, mm, you're he was embarrassing me. Mm. He's like, I'm so happy. And he like fell asleep. I'm like, oh, ah. he's such a nerd and cute. Mm. I never had that before. She's embarrassing me. <laughs> you're so pretty today. Thank you. <laughs> you're uh, our, our dog's uh, grunting. Yes, he wants to go to the dog go. park already. You guys, 
I know, I know, it's, I know you want to, to continue telling them your love story, but I really want to go to the dog park. Please, <laughs> please let me go. Let's go. He keeps looking over there. Oh, okay. Anyways, Get out of here. yeah, we, we have All it right. to where we're heading over to the dog park. That was a little bit of our little love story that we've had. And, and, uh, oh, I forgot to mention, as soon as we got off the webcam, yeah, we you were... know, on the 25th, we met on the 26th, the day after yes. uh, Christmas. Where and all my family was there. My cousins. My so I <laughs> met I like... everyone the first day. <laughs> it was really, really nerve wracking to meet everyone. It was so <laughs> but I was like, are you sure you want to meet right now? Because I know. All my family and I couldn't now. resist. I had and to meet my... this amazing woman. <laughs> So yeah, we we drove over there. Oh, and another thing too that was kind of funny um, on the whole story here is uh, whenever she gave me her address to uh, to go out there and meet her at her house, which usually I would recommend if anyone's meeting you offline or something like that, don't meet at your house. Like usually you want to meet somewhere like a coffee shop or somewhere in public just to be safe and everything, have friends with you and stuff just for safety. But she, you know, she had me meet her over at her house and um, she gave me the address for her house and whenever I put it into the GPS, the GPS usually puts some kind of a picture at the end of it, like what your destination looks like. Well, because her house um, like was recently built on like new property and everything, it showed up as a field. <laughs> He thought I was gonna kill I him. thought she was gonna <laughs> murder me and bury me in this field. So needless to say, I was, you know, a little bit nervous, but I actually showed up about like two hours beforehand. <laughs> so cute. I didn't even and know until I, later. <laughs> I wanted to make sure I was on time, so I actually waited at the end of the block. I made sure I knew where her house was, and then I waited at the end of the block to make sure that I would show up right on time for whenever we were gonna go on our date. And we went to he was Starbucks. So cute. He was wearing his hat because he had really short hair at the Aww. time because he cut it. He had his little hat had a and little he looked hat so on. nervous. Uh. Anyways, <laughs> he was I it was really really late at night, but I still wanted to meet her. She was coming back from Austin, I yeah, believe it was, I was like, with, sure? her, with her with her family. Sure? And he's like, yeah. yeah, and she. Yeah. So I I went ahead and I I waited there at the house until she got back home so that um so that I could meet her and go and and go on our date for the first time, and everything was closed because it was like eleven o'clock or ten o'clock at night. So we went over to Starbucks and then Starbucks was actually starting to close. They kicked us out. They kicked us out. <laughs> and so we were like, what do we do next? So we obviously went over to a grocery store and walked around the produce aisle in the meat section. And uh, that's whenever I held her hand for the first time. And also uh, d we danced in the meat section. Yes, I was very meat. corny with it. Yes. It was but so yeah, we, we did that. We, we um, and then, um, yeah, just it was it was all in all like we we couldn't stop seeing each other, and we just continued seeing each other day after day after day after day, um, like consecutively, no breaks or anything like that until she went to Dallas for a family vacation. It was a week. He was dying. And it was awful. I don't even want to remember that that week yeah. because I missed her so much. But yeah, we've been inseparable since. And so now we have a house, we have a dog, we have a baby on the way, we have a cat. <sighs> Things kennel. are going cat in the kennel in the silver spoon. Sorry, that's an old song. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and head out to the dog park now because this little guy is like getting super duper antsy oh, right hi, now man. and Rachel's getting antsy and we all just are getting super duper antsy. So here we go, dog park, maybe getting coffee beforehand in three, two. Coach, are you having fun? Mom, are you having fun? This one's driving me crazy. What's he doing? Trying to go everywhere? Yes. Sit. He is barking Stay. at that dog over there. Aw. Here, can you tell Well, he was like following me that dog. Stay. Stay. Sit down. You're in my spot. So we are over here at the park. Right next to the dog park. Go to sit. I think he's okay. Just Stay. having fun over here at the park right now. Mm -hmm. Enjoying ourselves watching somebody hula hoop. 
Anyways, yeah, we are just chilling out, enjoying the day, looking at the beautiful sky. It is a gorgeous day. And trying to keep Coda from running off. <laughs> uh -uh. Uh -uh -uh. <laughs> Such a mischievous dog right now. He just wants to run everywhere. Oh. Well, we just finished up over at the dog park right now. Coda is exhausted. He's been playing with so many different dogs and everything. And it's been really a lot of fun. So now we are going to be going and heading over to Starbucks again to get some refills because we're on the gold member club and we can get free refills. And Rachel's a little bit pooped. I'm she tired. needs to she needs to get some uh, some uh, tea and then also go to the restroom. Starbucks. I have to pee. So oh yeah, she does. <laughs> well, we are back home right now. Rachel <laughs> is about to eat a strawberry covered in chocolate chips. Mmm. Yummy. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> and we're about to watch some Disney movies that are just cute little romantic stuff. So, if you like this video, please thumbs it up, subscribe and tell your friends and share the video. We'd love to have more people join. We're about to watch Beauty and the Beast, which is Rachel's favorite movie, as you heard earlier on in the video. Anyways, thanks for watching, and uh, what should we say for like Happy our Valentine's exit? Day. Yes, Happy Valentine's Day. Heart, other heart. Ooh.